So, it is the classic OGR Saturday preview. And quite frankly, guys, I like doing the preview on Saturday. I just do. It makes sense. You get to see the Friday injury report, and that dictates a lot of things because that's when you finally know if somebody's out or in, unless they're questionable, and then obviously they could be a game-time decision. So with no further ado, let's get into it. Like always, guys, we are on to the injury report to open things up. And we are on Giants.com. We're just going to quickly scroll through here. Obviously, we know Saquon's not going to play with the ankle injury. Tay Davis going to be out with a concussion. Al Ogletree out with the hamstring. Olsen Pierre will play. Lorenzo Carter will play. Benny Fowler is probably questionable. He played last week. I can only imagine he's going to play this week unless they feel the need to sit him for whatever reason. And then Cody Latimer is obviously probably recovered from that concussion. I Did he get off protocol? I haven't heard, but most likely I think he's going to play in this game. It usually takes about two weeks to recover from a concussion. Sometimes longer. Casey Keenum, obviously we heard about the boot. He's going to be the start. He was named the starter. Jordan Reed, in my personal opinion, should probably retire, but is not going to play because of a concussion. Sheriff is out. Roulier is out. Dunbar is in. Casanova McKenzie in. Jonathan Allen in. Colt McCoy in. Terry McLaurin did not practice. Limited on Thursday. We will see. Maybe they're just saving him. He is a big weapon on their offense. They probably don't want to lose him. If he doesn't play, it's a positive sign for us. But I'm going to still highlight him in our video. And then Josh Norman. Obviously going to play. And now we'll get on to the three keys. Players I want to highlight. And then obviously we'll get into score prediction. So my three keys to victory. First off, it's not going to change from last week. You think it would? Saquon's down. No. We need to run the ball. Why? Because we got to keep Washington honest. Now, is Wayne Gallman Saquon Barkley? No. But average running backs get it done all the time in the NFL. You saw Peyton Barber and you saw Ronald Jones Jr. get it done against the Giants last week. So... Run the walk with Wayne Wayne Gallman. I want to see at least 15 carries from Wayne. I'm assuming they're going to get Ron Hillman and Elijah Penny in there as well. So I want to see 20 to 25 runs total by this offense, if not more. I don't want Daniel Jones throwing the ball 45 times. Because that means we're either par with the Redskins or we're behind. I want to see this team play with a lead and keep the lead. That's what I want to see out of the Giants. Can they do that? My second key, and this one's probably going to be pretty obvious to you guys too. We know the Washington Redskins are going to bracket coverage to Evan Ingram. They're going to say, Evan Ingram, you're not going to beat us. It's probably going to lead one-on-one scenarios outside, or maybe they're going to play zone. Who knows? Darius Slayton, not Sterling Shepard, not Corey Latimer. I think these guys will have good games, but Darius Slayton, get deep. He's the burner. We saw it last week. I want to see it again. We see that Daniel Jones can be accurate down the field. If we're running the ball in this game, we have somewhat of a commitment to the run, which I want to see out of Pat Shermer. Don't get me wrong. I love Daniel Jones. But I don't want to make this kid throw 40, 45 times a game, 50, 60 times a game. That's not a winning formula. Balanced offense. That's what I want to see this week. And we can do it against the Washington Redskins defense. They're not very good. They weren't good against Philly, they weren't good against Dallas, and they weren't very good against a shitty Chicago Bear offense. So let's get a balanced attack out there. And my third key to victory highlights on one person and one person only, because I haven't seen it. I've seen flashers from Zimenez. I've seen flashers from Dexter Lawrence. And Delvin Tomlinson and BJ Hill have been solid. And Marcus Golden has been the bright spot on the defense. Same with Ryan Conley. Now, you'd think I'd probably call Janoris Jenkins right now, but Janoris Jenkins is a given. Lorenzo Carter, my third key to victory. Get after the quarterback. We need pressure. We need flashes. We saw some flashes last year in limited snaps. You had five and a half sacks. Let's get after the quarterback. Beat your one-on-one. So that is my third key to victory. Lorenzo Carter. I need to see Lorenzo Carter have a big day. I want to see these guys develop. We've seen flashes from everybody else. Lorenzo's had some bright, some plays here and there, but I want to see consistency. 
That's how you know your team's improving. Consistency. So let's see some consistency getting after the quarterback by Lorenzo Carter. So moving on, highlighting two players, either on offense or defense, for either either team. I like doing this. First off, we're going to start off with the Giants. And that is Darius Slayton. I want to see, I believe, highly in Darius Slayton. I've made one video on Darius Slayton. I've talked about him in others. Darius Slayton is a key cog to this offense. And if he's catching the ball downfield, it makes the life of everybody else that much easier. You can have those underneath throws to Sterling Shepard and Evan Ingram. You'll be able to run the ball because obviously the safeties are playing back and not coming into the box. So Wayne Gallman can have a good day and Elijah Penny. Darius Slayton, yes. And obviously the opposite is true. Running the ball with Wayne Gallman could open up Darius Slayton on a long play action pass. And obviously a guy we cannot let have a big day, but it's no secret. He is a weapon for the Washington Redskins. Now again, I haven't heard if he isn't isn't gonna play, so I'm still gonna mention his name. And that is Terry McLaurin. We cannot let Terry McLaurin beat us. Bracket coverage, double teamed all the time. This kid's a playmaker, and he is called Scary Terry for a reason. Cannot let Terry McLaurin beat us, especially with a hobbled Casey Keenum. So, all that being said, and the other thing that I think the Redskins are going to do that maybe not a lot of people have highlighted, I think the Redskins in this game will have a more commitment to the run. They're banged up at quarterback. They're banged up at wideout. And we've been average against the run. We could be exploited there. So, especially now that we're banged up at linebacker, I expect a heavy dose of Chris Thompson and Adrian Peterson. We cannot let the Washington Redskins run the football. And the way to stop a team from running the football, move the ball on offense, get up early, keep the lead, and obviously, they have they will not show the propensity to be able to run the ball that effectively when they are actually down in the game. So, and obviously, I'd like to see the keep the time of possession, but that's a given. So now, moving on, let's talk about my score prediction. I'm not as confident as these other Giants content creator, content creators. We are in below average to a shitty team until we prove otherwise. Last week was a stepping stone. So let's step into the right direction and get to 500, which we haven't been since 2016. So my score prediction, the Giants squeak one out. 24-21, New York Giants in this game. There's no reason why we shouldn't beat this team. And if we don't, I'm back to being concerned. We have 101 wins lifetime against this franchise. So let's get a win. Either way, it's been one giant rebuttal. Please like and subscribe and go Big Blue.